Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do my June favorites. Let's turn on the lights on Cause we need to see the crowd going crazy my June went by really quickly and I did a bit off shopping in June as well so I have a couple of new favorites that I want to talk about right now and one of my favorites has definitely been the professional um, primer from Benefit I know people have been raving about this product for so long practically since it came out and I bought it a couple of months ago because I was just curious because people were raving about it and I thought okay what the heck I have to get it as well so I got it and ever since I just used it on my t-zone because I feel like that's the that's like my problem zone where I get the most like shiny skin and stuff like that so I used it there and it works really good I like it a lot I don't use too much of it because I kind of like a chewy finish and chewy looking skin um, but it definitely pre prevents like all the shininess that might go on in your t-zone so that was that one was really good um, another product that I got a while ago and I just you know, fell in love with it again is the YSL Touche Eclat um, Concealer. I think it's not really, like it doesn't really do anything against dark circles, but it really helps to lighten up your complexion and I always use it under my eyes, a bit on the bridge of my nose and like under my um, mouth, like on, around the chin area because I feel like that's really cool and really lightens up your face. And I fall in summer when you really want to, you know, look glowy and fresh and stuff like that so it's really good for that and I can totally recommend that one a brush with them I always apply my concealer is this one it's the eco tools uh, concealer brush I think I bought this like three years ago or so but I think it's still the best concealer brush I've ever used I always come back to that one I used a couple of different ones from real techniques lately but I think the Eco Tools concealer brush is just so good and it leaves your skin, like after you use that with concealer, it just doesn't even look like you use concealer at all because it just melts into your skin. And I think it's, it's not about the concealer you use but about the brush. In summer I like to contour my face always a bit. Well, actually it's not really that much contouring but just bronzing it up because I'm really light skin type so I don't usually you know I don't want to go out in the sun so often so I like to bronze up my skin a bit and for that I have been using the sleek contouring kit I got this the contouring kit in light and I think it's really good the highlighter that comes with it is really good as well I think it's not like too it is shimmery but it doesn't leave your skin like all shiny and glowy like you just stepped out as a vampire from twilight in the sun no it's not like that it's really good it just gives you like a, a slight shimmer over your cheeks and that's exactly what you want when you want to highlight your cheekbones. Contouring color is really good as well so you can use it as a bronzer because it's matte and it doesn't have any shimmer in it so it's really good for just bronzing up your face. There's another bronzing powder that I really liked in June. Um, Maybelline brought it out I guess like at the beginning of this month I, I think it's the Dream Sun bronzing powder with blush and I got it in the color 08 bronze paradise. It looks a bit like this and I think it's really cool because you've got like your blush color here and the bronze uh, beneath it and the only thing that I don't like about it because I really like the amount of shimmer that's in the bronzer and uh, the color of the blush is just gorgeous but the smell it's just so heavily scented I don't know every time I have it on my face I feel like I only smell that I don't smell the perfume I don't smell anything else I just smell that it's not like it's a bad smell or anything but it's just really overwhelming and dominates everything else so I'm not sure about that I am still using it because I really really like the color of it um, but yeah I think I'll just use it still for some so maybe I get used to the smell that was my friend who just called me because my phone keeps ringing like random people I don't know what, what that's about and then they always call me back so it's really weird I don't know alright so uh, yeah about the Maybelline bronzer I think it's a really good bronzer the, the smell is just overwhelming and I don't know like I still like it it's just the smell I I mean I think you shouldn't scent cosmetic products that much so 
I don't know, but it's a really good bronzer. So if you're looking for a, a good drugstore bronzer, I would definitely recommend this one. Moving on to a nail polish that I really liked. Um, it's the Essie Parka Perfect one. It was a special edition. I remember that because it came with a Christmas edition, which is really weird because I think this is like a light blue grayish color and you can wear it all year round. And I just, I don't know, I grabbed it the other day and I fell in love with it because it's a really cool color and I can really only recommend it. The thing is, I don't know if they still, um, if they still have that stocked or anything because it was a special edition so I don't think they do. But moving on to skincare, I have been loving a particular combination of two skincare products a lot. The one is the Diadermine or Lab Laboratoire Diadermine. I don't know if that is available everywhere but it's a really good cream. It reminds me of the um, um, what's it called? La, La Roche Posay Tolerian Cream because that one is high tolerance and it's a day cream that gives you like a good deal of moisture. It's paraben free, it's silicon free and it's perfume free so that one's really good. At night I always combine it with the Body Shop Vitamin E Facial Oil and I would just drop like a couple of drops of the oil um, and mix it with the cream on the back of my hand and it has helped to make my skin look really dewy, really moisturized and it's really good combo so if you are suffering from a bit of a dry skin or if you just want to you know brighten up your complexion I would definitely recommend getting those two because they're really good and they are not that expensive so that's a plus as well. Well in my last empties video I talked a lot about Michael Todd products because I finished a lot of those and I just thought why not use some of them again and then the other day I um, looked in my drawer and I found the Kaolin 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 clay mask it's a detoxifying facial mask. It is extra absorbent. It's for oily combination and acne prone skin. I put that on and afterwards my skin literally felt like baby skin. It's just so, so good. And I will keep using that over the next couple of weeks because I'm just so surprised that I didn't fell in love with this earlier because I used it. But apparently, I don't know, maybe my skin was different at that time, but it's just so, so good. It smells a bit like eucalyptus for body lotion. I have been loving the Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory. I think the smell is just amazing. I think it smells so good if you have that on your skin. Everybody always asks me, oh, did you like what kind of perfume is that? I was like, ah, no, it's my body lotion. I think the smell is just really fruity, but not too much and just sensual, if that makes any sense. And it is for very dry skin. And that's true, I guess. It really softens your skin and I usually put it on at night before going to bed. It's really moisturizing, so I usually put it on before uh, bedtime. And in the morning, my skin is just completely soft. I guess that's exactly what you want from a body lotion. So try the Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory if you haven't done that yet. Um, I think I got this perfume in 2011, 2012, I can't really remember, but uh, it's the Flora Botanica perfume from Balenciaga and can we just take a moment and appreciate the packaging because the packaging is amazing. I think it's so cool, it got like a red stripe over here and then the stripey, um, I don't know how you call it, like the thing in there. You can see it. It's it's really cool and the smell is just so good. It, I'm going to pop something on right now. I, I just it just smells a bit like roses and like you're in a in a garden full of flowers. That's exactly how that smells. You don't really need much. Just one spritz of it. That's enough because it's a really heavy scented um, perfume. But I think it's great for summer. And my last product. Um, that I really liked is the banana shampoo from the body shop. I have been using that one for a month now and it's so good. I guess it's just like banana puree with like some other ingredients. It smells good. It leaves your hair completely clean and I think it also gives you a great deal of volume. So I've been liking that one a lot and I think I'll definitely get another bottle of that one when I finish it. 
As for non beauty favorites, I have fallen in love with a band from America. They are called Mr. Wives and they are so cool. They make exactly the kind of music that I listen to. And I found one of their songs called Reflections on YouTube. It is a live performance from the South by South Southwest um, festival. It, they are amazing. I'll put a link down below because they just put out their EP and every song on the EP is just really cool. I think they make such a fun music. You can dance to it really easily and it just brightens up your day when you listen to it. Just like an upbeat, fun kind of music. And I hope they're coming to Europe soon because I can't wait to see them live. So I'll put a link down below to their EP. You should go and check them out and if you like it buy the EP because they are amazing and I think more people should support them. Another random favorite of mine is the TV show Heart of Dixie. I know it's been around for a couple of years and to be honest at first I was a bit unsure about it. I never watched it. My sister watched it and I was like nah that show is on again. Please you know can we watch something else? And recently, um, I just started watching it like like one episode after another, and I just fell in love with it. I think it's so cool. I think they shot it in the same Warner Brothers studios as um, where this Gilmore Girls was shot because it's like the same city with the gazebo in the middle and stuff like that. So that is really cool. But I just like the community. They are kind of old fashioned and they're just like crazy characters all over town and. I think it's really cute. I just like the show a lot because it just is, is cute, it's fun. And last but not least, favorite book. And this is a really, really easy one for me because it came out end of May and I finished reading it in two days because it's the last book of the Mortal Instruments installment and I adore this book series. It's hands down one of the best book series I've ever read and probably that exists. I don't know, like for me there's Twilight and then right beneath it is the Mortal Instruments series because it's just amazing. The last book came out, it's, it's this one, it's really thick, you can see it next to my head, it's like crazy. I, I think it got like 800 pages or so, like yeah, four, 730 pages. Which is a lot, but I finished it really quickly anyway. It's such an easy read and just really good. But you have to read the books, like all the other books, before you read that one. It's the sixth book of the installment. And I can only recommend to anyone to, to read it, this because it got everything in it. It's like a fantasy novel with werewolves, vampires and shadow hunters, of course. If you are familiar with the Mortal Instruments series, which probably most of you guys are because it's just so, so famous. If you have seen the movie, don't judge the books by the movie because I think the movie is not that great, but the books are amazing. So if you're looking for a new fantasy series, pick it up because it's so good, even though I have to admit that I expected more from the last book. I don't know, I was like not really disappointed, but I just thought they would all go out with a big babbity boom. I don't know, I mean, just um, for me, it wasn't really that exciting. I think all the other books are way more exciting than this one, but it was a great book. I just think I had such high expectations because I waited over two years for that book. And I don't know, I'm just so sad that the series has finished and yeah, I don't know. I'm really sad, but uh, Cassandra Clare, the author of the books, is coming out with another series called The Artificial Devices. I don't know what was like the art artificial something. I don't know. It's coming out soon, I guess. So I'm really looking forward to that one. And who knows? Maybe the characters of this book will have a cameo in it. I hope so, because I really like them. So that's it for this month favorites video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, go give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and I think we'll see each other next week. Bye! May has rushed by. I may have to say that. May have to say that. Yes.